Hey all, Patrick here with Cine Samples, and today I'll be demonstrating some of the major enhancements from our 1.1 CineStrings Core update. CineStrings 1.1 is a substantial script and patch update. Based on user feedback, we spent a significant amount of time and effort improving the library on two major fronts, playability and stability. A prominent new feature of this update is the pedal modeling script. Now, every patch has the ability to hold out notes via the sustain pedal, mimicking the behavior of an acoustic piano. And this script functions across all sustain samples, including trills, harmonics, and even legatos. To activate this new functionality, just make sure that your sustain is set to anything other than pedal. So I'm going to switch it to key switch, and here's what it sounds like. So when I release my fingers, I'm still holding the pedal down and the samples are still holding out. And you can even use this new functionality to hold out the hairpin creator. So let's turn that on, let's play something. It's still going. My pedal's held down, so it's still going. And I'll release. So, as you can see, the sustain pedal functionality works across many of the different articulations and modes, making CineStrings even more playable than it was before. And I know this is something that a lot of you have been asking for over the last few months, and so we're really happy to finally bring this to you with CineStrings 1.1. Next in this update, we have significantly improved the performance of the legato engine, uh, both with the monophonic mode and with the polyphonic legato mode. Specifically, we've added several new features to the polyphonic mode. First, we've increased the amount of voices to four, so you can now play chords with four voices. And, as previously mentioned, you can use the sustain pedal even with the polyphonic mode, which makes it a little easier to play. So, for instance, um, so the, the notes are still being held out. So this just makes it easier to play more difficult passages than before. Next, you can also increase or decrease the amount of voices in your polyphonic line. So let's say you start a line with one voice, something that sounds like this maybe. And let's say uh, halfway through that line you wanted to add a second voice. The way you would do that is by playing two notes at the exact same time and the legato engine will recognize that you intend to add a second voice. So let me show you how that works. Likewise, you can also decrease the amount of active voices in your polyphonic line simply by releasing the note that corresponds to whichever voice you want to release. So, for instance, let's say I'm playing a line with two voices and I want to remove one of the voices halfway through. So I'll play something like this. And now I'm going to remove the bottom voice. Release the sustain pedal. Now I'm back to one voice. So the same concept applies to polyphonic lines with up to four voices, so you can play some more complicated lines.
Another feature we've added to the polyphonic legato mode is the ability to cross voices. With the help of the sustain pedal, you can actively decide which voice goes to which target note that you play. So, for instance, normally, if you're playing two voices like so, and you play this B flat up here, then this top C transitions down to the B flat because that B flat is closer to that C. But let's say you wanted this bottom voice to transition to this B flat even though the B-flat is closer to this C. Using the sustain pedal, if I release the bottom voice, but still hold down the top voice, then whatever note I play next, it will transition whatever note is released to that new target note. So likewise, I can move the, the top voice below this bottom voice. So this is a really useful way of actually dictating which voices go where rather than relying on a computer to make educated guesses for you. The next thing we've added in this update is smoother vibrato transitions. So when you transition it sounds a little bit more natural now. And on top of that, with the 1.1 update, we've modified the velocity curves of the sustains. Specifically, we've opened up the first and second velocity layers, so you can get a more dynamic V1, V2 sound. And for the last new feature of the 1.1 update, we've added three light versions of each of the basic articulations patches, as well as the ensemble sustains patches. We've split them out into non-vib, vibrato, and espressivo. So basically what this does is it gives you one third of the total voice count of the original patch. So if your computer is you know, lagging a bit or you have a dozen patches already open and you're starved for system resources, you can open up one of these patches and you'll see that uh, the amount of voices it uses is a lot less. So you can see there's five voices right here versus on this patch 15. So if you don't have a need for transitioning between different vibrato layers, then these patches will be great for you. Well, that's it for this update. As always, let us know your thoughts and thanks for watching.